Hello everybody, welcome back to Feed the Beast. Alright, yep, welcome back. Today we've got something awesome planned, but first of all, things have changed a lot. Yesterday, um, basically I've been moaning at Alex that we need a power plant because of all my bee stuff. I'll show you the bee, bee stuff changes I've made. And um, he said, well now that you've built your tower and it looks kind of cool, I want to redo mine. So he has. So yesterday we ripped down his old one, and um, we've had this big cone here put up for a couple of days, and then he started building his tower, but then we had to move all the chests in there, he hasn't got his system set up yet, but that's fine. But here's a little update I've done with these bee machines. Um, basically, if you hover over the gauge at the side of these machines, they say how much they use. Now this one uses 25, this one uses 100. These both use 50. So what I've done is I've got a dedicated energy cell on each of them set to that specific output and also set to only work if a uh, redstone signal is high. So say I, say I want to use the inoculate, or the isolator, sorry. Uh, it's already got some power on it. Sometimes I forget to turn them off, but it's fine. <coughs> Pardon me. Burpy Dale. FDB has liked my Windy series. <laughs> you know, what I do is I throw it in there. I turn it on for when I want to use it and it'll charge up, or it won't charge up, because I'll show you with this. Oh yes, I've got valuable bees now. <laughs> what happens is because it's outputting at 50 millijoules per tick, it is giving off the optimal amount of energy. Uh, as you see, this bar is still going up, although you can't see it because it's going up behind this serum. There you go. That's good. And so then if I turn it off, it's just the right time, but we're gonna automate this today and make it even better because that's what everything in FTB is about. Because it's kind of hard, like, I have to because I don't want to waste any power. <laughs> but this, these are all my serums I have now. Check it out. I went absolutely crazy breeding bees the other day. Got valuable bees which give iridium or platinum, even uh, gold, iron, bronze, I think. Uh, tin which we needed, resilient which is just the steps to get all these ones, got corroded which is copper, edenic which we had those bees but we have our valuable queens going in here and over two stacks of platinum dust which is awesome. Now what I've done with my tower, a little bit of change, uh, this is going to be my storage room and I've made a staircase down here and an extra room down here this is going to be where I'm putting all of my heavy duty machinery, so like the industrial blast furnace we have at the top, uh, the industrial grinder, it's going to all go in this room down here. And uh, on the other side I've got a water feature, because <laughs> I don't know what to put there. Um, still with the tower here, I don't know what to do with these different floors, because uh, at the minute they are kind of pointless, useless, and there's no way of getting up the next floor. There we go. And yeah, <laughs> like this from we uh, for the um, Ender Dragon video, we did have something planned, like a little cinematic thing, but we didn't do it in the end. Um, so I couldn't be bothered. Over here, our good old Ender bees. Um, still hurting me. I can probably turn it off now. As you can see, our tree looks a bit different. I think what happened, all this bit here, is blown out. I think what happened was that a uh, thunderstorm hit while we were offline and burnt some of it, which kind of sucks. This is going to be where the power plant goes, um, where Alex's old tower was. Um, I've got, I'm, I'm currently planning it out. We're going to have the bottom floor for creating Minecraft jewels, the middle floor for uh, EU, whoops, and then a floor on top for creating blue-tricity power. Which is basically just going to be a windmill, but I'm going to dress it up. Here's Alex's tower. Now, I'm showing this off simply because I can, and I know Alex isn't going to show this off for ages because he's bored of making videos, but he's going to have his chests here for some stuff. Uh, or he's going to move his sorting system up here, and he's going to have another floor up here. Uh, so it's going to be a two floor system, which is all cool and stuff. But here is where we're storing all of our stuff at the minute. Because I haven't got my chest room set up yet, we haven't split our stuff evenly 50-50. 
So we're waiting until I do that before we can do anything else. I need to start getting rid of some of my junk. Right, Apios backpack. I've collected lots of bees in my travel. Now don't let me forget where these gone. Right, actually you know what? I'm gonna take a chest and just store everything in it while I do this video. Oh, there's bad stuff. So yeah, we're waiting until Alex uh, figures out where to put or where he wants his chests before we move the managers and then uh, we can get those out of the way because at the minute they're just sort of hanging about there. <laughs> right. So today we're making something to help the whole automation system out of everything we own. Whoops. Uh, this is basically how I'm sorting everything I own. Random chests in places. And uh, we have our spare tools. Alex found a portal gun in a dungeon, which I'm very, very jealous of. Good going, Alex. Good going. I needed one of those chests. But what we are making today is one of these bad boys. Assembly table. Not too bad. Oh, that's bad. Right. Pa -pa 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 -pa. This is going to cost us a lot of diamonds and possibly a lot of obsidian. I'm not sure how much of obsidian we've got. Oh, there's ingots. There we go. 19. That's fine. I'm just going to take all those as well. Okay, we are going to need a bunch of iron, a bunch of gold, uh, some cobblestone, and some sticks. Sticks and stones can break my bones, but names will hurt forever. Alex, is, Alex doesn't have a crafting table up here. That's fine, I'm used to it. Right, so of course we all know how to make gears, don't we? Uh, you take four sticks, there you go, like that. You surround it with four cobble to upgrade it to a cobble gear. Uh, then surround it with iron to turn it into an iron gear. I haven't actually made these in quite a while. And then surround it in diamond. Bonk. Bonk. Redstone. Right. <laughs> You know what, I'm just going to make a crafting table and put it up here. He did have one up here, but I don't know where it's gone. This is why I need to sort out my own chest room. Uh, what did I need again? Redstone. There should be a barrel of it. There we go. Right. Yaha! Dale 1. Feed the beast, nil. Assembly table. Done. Episode over. See ya. Nope, definitely not over yet. So this thing runs off Minecraft jewels. Um, at the minute, because we don't have the power plant set up, I'm just going to rip out one of my redstone energy cells and put it down there. Oh, where's my chest gone? Take some of these chests. Okay, so we're going to put a chest on the bottom. Uh, like that, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it in that corner instead. Oh, by the way, this floor. I really like this floor. I made using this stuff, this iron scaffold. Which is pretty cool. It's got the same feature as wooden scaffold. But it's made out of iron. I'm guessing it's a sturdier material, like you can build it higher and wider than the other stuff. Anyway, uh, assembly table. Nope, first of all we want the chest there. And assembly table on top. This is simply because, actually, I'm going to make this look a bit cooler. Bonk! Right. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. These scaffolds are really cheap to make as well, so that's alright. I'll just use some refined iron. Oh yeah, and this is concrete. I really like this. It's kind of pricey to make, but meh. So I'm going to put that in the bottom there, and then a chest on top, and I'm going to half slab that out. Um, get the OP drill, and just put a bunch uh, of iron scaffolding around the edge. 
Uh, I will probably put some concrete behind that as well, just to make it look a bit better. Right, so what this will do is we need the chest underneath it, because that's where this assembly table will output stuff. Now, if we want to make, say, an autartic gate, uh, I'm guessing autartic iron ore gate, we're going to need these things, redstone chipsets. So, to make that, you need to put a redstone dust in here. And you click on it to say, hey, I want you to make those as long as you have the resources. But it's not working, it's because it needs powering. And what does it need powering by? I'm a firing my laser. Yes, these are not cheap in the slightest. Uh, but I'm going to make several of them because the more you have, the quicker it will take, or the quicker it processes the stuff. Uh, so for now, I will make four. Sorry for using all the diamonds, Alex. I'll get diamond bees soon. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bonk. So four of them. Uh, where are my conduits? Don't have any. <sighs> right. Um, let's go find some conduits. Are there any in the ender pouch? Because I know sometimes we keep some weird stuff in the ender pouch. Sorted. <laughs> as well as crescent hammer. Um, which one should I steal? Pooper. That one. Nah. Eh, they're all sort of like high, aren't they? Let's just... Yoink, that one. So if you use a crescent hammer when you destroy those redstone energy cells, they actually keep all of their charge in their settings as well. Which is really handy. Right. So they have to be, I think, within four, five, or six blocks of range of this thing. So for now, I'm going to put... Not one there. I'm misclicking everywhere today. I probably won't put any of them in the ceiling because uh, it's only a half slap thickness and I won't be able to hide the conduits that well. So let's take our conduits. Uh, let's hide it behind here. Man, this drill. It just blitzes through absolutely everything. <laughs> it's just like... Brrr. Done. Oops. Wow, so much concentration. Okay. So this is, again, temporary. So yep, that's all pointing into that. That completely missed. Again, you can use your uh, not Omni Wrench Crescent Hammer to right uh, shift right click to dismantle. Put that there, put that there. Uh, let's just do this for now, because I can, and I will, and I have. Is that connected? I can't see. Damn it! Yes, it is. Boing, boing, boing! Okay, connected. Lovely jubbly. Let's take that back. Do that. It's looking nice and flush. I was meant to mention application forms this episode as well, but I completely forgot. Uh, I would mention them now, but what I'm going to do is mention them at the start of the video, because more people watch the start than the end. <laughs> so I will mention that at the start of the next video. But yeah, we're currently um, accepting applicants to the server. And I'll leave a link to the description, or a link to the applications in the description. So if you feel like applying for the server, go for it. Um, the main people we're looking to get with us on the server... Oh, that's right. The main people we want on our server are mature people who create content. Right, outwards. Good. Just because I haven't set it up yet. 
So yeah, if you're a content creator and you're thinking about making FTB content, definitely apply, right? Last thing I need, well, I don't really need it, but I'm going to use a lever to activate this thing just because that's what I've got it set to. It'll output 100 millijoules per tick when redstone signal is high. So, of course, those are the states. And, eh, it's not too bad. But how do we make the other part we needed? That's gold, I want iron. Autartic iron and gate. Use an autartic iron or gate. Yeah, but how do I... Oh, shapeless crafting, that's why. Mixer, assembly table, pulsating chipset. Right. Iron or gate, use a redstone chip again. And iron and... Nope. This is kind of confusing. Okay, so it uses up all the redstone. Iron ore gate. Red pipe wire. Jesus crikes. Right. <laughs> okay, luckily I've got lots of flowers over here. And uh, I'll get into what this is going to be helpful for in possibly my next episode. I don't know, I might have something else planned. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. No, 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 don't. That, what, why is it still going? It shouldn't be outputting. Oh dear, they must have some sort of internal storage. Make me some of that. Wait, what? Oh, that was quick. I wonder why that... Yeah, maybe they've got an internal storage or something. But, right, how do I make the rest of it? Okay, so I take... One of them, and one of them, and that's not telling me to do it. Oh, a redstone iron chip set. Right, so a piece of redstone, and one of them. I want to make one of those, please. Okay, so now it's out of power. I think what I'll do is I'll hook it up to a gate afterwards or something saying, hey, when you've got power, activate that. Or when you have work, even. This has taken a while. Video is 20-ish minutes long already. is isn't too bad. Right, what else do I need? Um, okay, that will make the iron or gate. To make it autartic, we need... Another one of those redstone iron chipsets. So let's add another one of those. And another one of use. And a pulsating one. Whoops. What was the pulsating chipset? End a pearl and a piece of redstone. Let's add another piece of redstone. Grab a end a pearl. I'll quickly sleep as well. Get all the bad stuff out of the way. So the advantage of having the autartic ones is that they are they can uh, act as like a redstone engine. And I'll show you what I'm going to use that for in a second. I love being able to make stuff with bees. I'm telling you, man, bees can do anything. Something's dying. So if I put that there, can I then select? I can. So it's gonna... Ooh, it's made me one already. So is it gonna say, hey, make all of that until you run out, and then make some of that? Let's see. At least that's what I think it will do anyway. I think seeing as that's like the lightest color of red, it will make as many of those as it can, and then it will go on to make those. That's my thought anyway. What does it say? Oh, wow! Whew. Oh yeah, yeah, it's done it. So now it's going to make some of those instead. That's cool. It's got a lot of energy stored. I'm going to have to figure out how to automate that better. Because I don't know how much this is draining. Eh, it's not too bad. Oh. Are you out of power now? I'll have to look up what that all means. 
because I haven't got a clue. <clears throat> Let me just take a quick swig of my drink. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Jesus. Okay, so what we can do is add more lasers to this thing. And it will go quicker. Of course. Again, like I said, I don't know. I'm probably I'm not gonna add any to the ceiling because uh I've got I, there's nowhere to put the conduits. I'm probably just gonna put some on the wall here, here, here. So maybe a nine by nine on each side of the wall. And then I'm gonna have this area sort of like caged off, glassed off or something. I think that might look cool. Hello Mr. Motorbike, ruining my videos as usual. I'm guessing the energy rate is how much these lasers are supplying. Okay. So how much, what did I need to make this? Iron ore gate, pulsating chipset. How do I make that again? Right. Let's... Aha! Uh -huh. So once you've made that, make the iron ore gate. Wow, this is thrilling. It's good to see my frame rate is at 30 frames per second though. It's marvellous. Okay, one of them, some of that. Oops. So I will explain these, uh, the different types of these at a later date. Uh, basically, whenever we need them, I'll explain the different functionalities of them. But of course, the cheaper the one, or the cheaper ones, they'll uh, do less than the expensive ones. Of course. So I'm going to cut back until this this. Iron ore gate here is finished. Then I'll show you the last bit. Ha ha! Iron ore gate. Awesome! Well, it's making another one. No. -uh. Right click to clear, that's good to know. Autartic iron ore gate. Make it for me! Alrighty! So that is now complete. Awesome. Let's turn you off. Say thank you very much. So. These gates, what you do is you right click them onto uh, any build craft pipe. Now, these could be liquid pipes, they could be um, transport pipes, or they can be um, what are they called? Conductive pipes. And you can basically tell them, I think I'll do it with my B one, or one of my Bs. Let's do it with this Adenic B. Okay, it's nearly done. So, whoop, rip through there, rip through there, so let's put this pipe back, bonk. So what you can do is you place them on a pipe, if you place it on these wooden ones, the autartic functionality of it says, when you have, um, items in inventory, you see this line lights up, that means that at the minute, the f the the gate is true. Wait, no, that's not right. Oh, wait, no, there is items in the inventory because these count. Derp. Uh, energy pulse. Now that makes it act as though it is a redstone engine, which is really cool. It's a huge space saver, especially for stuff like bees. Uh, because it means I can compact my bee machines really up, well, really tightly, uh, without having to make all these stupid wireless engines. Wireless engines? Redstone engines. So when this queen dies... Boom ba da boom Boom ba da boom ba da boom Hurry up. Oops. And the really cool thing about these gates is they work super fast compared to redstone engines. They're like bang, 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 bang. Done. Oh, you'll see that in a second. These flowers. 
I'm considering breeding that ability out of uh, the bees because I can actually make it so that they don't produce flowers. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do because those flowers are really annoying. Mm -hmm. and of course, iron ore gate means you can set up so it'll do two things. Uh, so like say, hey, also, if there's an item in the pipe, send out a redstone signal. I mean, that's just a bad example considering its usability, you know. But you'll see that uh, once this queen does die, the first part, this part, will say, hey, there's something in there. So we can we can pull it out. And then the other one says, hey, there's an item in the pipe. Let's give off a redstone signal. And it is a lot, a lot faster than redstone engines. So, now we've got these. This will help us in our power plant. Because we've got some cool ideas. I'm going to set up like a howler alarm to detect uh, if some of the fuel levels are low and etc, etc. But we're also going to use it to uh, control whether or not uh, the refinery is working for t converting fuel in, or oil into fuel. We're also going to use it to transfer liquids into the thermal generator because I'm going to use uh, bees to make lava to pump into a thermal generator. And we are also going to use it to store uh, Minecraft jewels which is going to be smart so that the engines automatically turn themselves off afterwards so they don't overheat and they only turn themselves on when we need power. But that's all I got for this video. Hopefully you guys found it insightful. <laughs> You'll be seeing what we're going to be doing now on the island, Polando Isle, which isn't really a big island. Now uh, we got Perro Tower. If you know what I can do with the different floors, I kind of want them to be functional. Now I've got like these little landing pads. I've still got a couple of them to make on the sides, like down here. Yep, if you know what I can do to make my tower functional, let me know in the comment section. I will thank you guys for watching. The tree looks awesome. I love it. Yep, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.